Now we've um, we just caught in the net with this here a box jellyfish. Now we want to be touching that. Adam's just been putting his hands in there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is here. I don't know if you can see that in there. Yeah, it's but that little bear, he can kill you. That's about right, isn't it? Yeah, it's about right. They can stop your heart if you've got a weak heart. Ready? Oh, Sarah. No, Go on. No, it's still there. What is it, Sarah? What do you got, Sarah? Yeah, so basically you can get them up to three plus metres. Probably in rivers, more responsible killing more people than anything. There's the ones in Queensland and now people in the canals. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this spilling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back Pepper. Not putting salt on because there's already salt in the butter. What do you reckon, Jay? It's what good. does it taste like, mate? Good. It doesn't taste it like down. Yeah, it doesn't taste like down south fish. It's not fishy, it's not strong. No. Nice and flaky. Yeah. Nice and white. Mm. That's good. done this morning is that um, we've given uh, poor Adam three hours because we're gonna fly out on a plane I like that one in three hours time so we've zoomed up the creek and uh, we're gonna probably get some liveies I think I'm not too sure but um, Adam's gonna show us anyway uh, with us today we have Sarah hello Sarah she's hello. helping Adam out today she's obviously the better guide but anyway um, Jaden's with us of course so we're, uh, hello Jay, sorry mate, cut you out there. <laughs> Which way are you going to go, Adam? Oh, I can't tell you, mate. Oh, you can't, okay. Your, your arms just go crazy, I don't know where you're going. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real shift, bro. Don't put it in. Ah. <laughs> so, okay. so what are you looking for, mate? So we're looking for little splashes on the water. Little you splashes on the water? Tiny yep. splashes on the water, that's your bonies. Bonies, okay. Bony brim. Bony brim. There we go, some flickers over there. Hopefully that means a barrow chase me. They reckon you've got to match the hatch, so let's see. This is called a cast net. Most people know generally what it is, but a lot of people don't know how to use them. I've used them once and choked myself, but... Even when you throw them every day, you can still stuff them up. <laughs> What's that rod? What's that rod? <laughs> Got a mullets. What do we get? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. You can see the fins of the turtle <laughs> on the side scan. Right there, you see the turtle. You can see his fins. See, there he is there, the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So what are you, um, what are you looking for, Adam? Uh, so basically we've got a lot of bonies coming through on the tide, so yep. they're all uh, splashing on top of the water. We've got our live bait, got a heap of live bait in the tank there. All right, so now you're, you're parking here. Yeah, we've got now, I don't know the creek, why, why are you parking here, buddy? Uh, parking here, we've got a deep gutter on the edge, so it's got a little bit of structure, and we've also got a nice big flat section out. Um, and you know that because you fish this a lot of times, yeah, right? A lot of times, yeah. yeah. But basically, um, yeah, we're here at the right time. The key to the creek fishing is find the bait, fish are just behind the bait. So we're setting up just in front of the bait, or you know, basically the fish are going to come to us, so the theory goes. Okay. So there you go. He's got two and a half hours left. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to anchor up. And we're going to put some liveys out, I think. Some liveys, which we just caught, as you would have just seen. And then we're gonna anchor up because um, Adam knows that there's a uh, spot here. So if we came here um, with a boat, not a local, haven't fished the place before, that's why we've come with Adam because it's local knowledge and that's what is so important when you're fishing and especially you're gonna get a window, small window. So, And Adam knows about it more than we do. So hence the reason we got this dude. So what did you just say? You said over here, yeah, there's, a, there's a, like a like a bit of a, channel so yeah, so you're really saying that it's a it's a massive crocodile right. that's come into the water so that's don't safe. fall in the, the water ah, okay because to me that looks like creek water a little irrigation yeah maybe. is that what it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you just it. yeah yeah <laughs> and we've um, we just caught in the net which is here a jellyfish now we want to be touching that. Adam's just putting his hands in there. <laughs> and we just realised, there it is here. I don't know if you can see that in there. Yeah, he can kill you. That's about right, isn't it? Yeah, it's about right. They can stop your heart if you've got a weak heart. If you don't see any more after this, you know what's happened. <laughs> well, how Adam's doing it, he's got a sinker, a running sinker. He's put the hook through that part of the fish, so that way there it stays alive as long as it can. Three quarters of the way down, basically. Yeah. And, uh, there it's end up and now it's an incoming tide, you can see the tide's coming in. So that's why the fish are going to be chasing, the bigger fish are going to be chasing little fish. And we're hoping that it's going to, big fish going to go past. So Adam said he just saw something, we're uh, hoping going to be lucky. So that is box jellyfish. And that there can kill you. It doesn't look like anything at all. We're going to go for a quick release. Done. Well done. Well done. And it's still alive, look it's swimming, amazing. <laughs> well done, well done. No jellyfish were harmed in this filming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Chief, so now we've got the live is out. Yep. yep. Now what, what gear are you using? Uh, so we're using 4000 spin reels on uh, basically just a barrel stick. So like a Shimano ones? Yeah, Shimano ones. They tend to be the people who designed them, so they do a real good job with the bait, bait runners. Um, yeah, you basically got a lot of drag out of a small reel. The beauty of using spin, everyone can use them, whether you're a kid or an adult, you can, everyone can cast them. Uh, that's why we use them on charter. Uh, also, they've got two different drag systems. So yeah, basically we're using uh, bait runner reels because they've got two drags. So you've got a front drag and a rear drag. This one's just got a hit. Look at that. Oh, oh. Yep. Yeah, that's what a hit looks like, is that? Now he could still be there and scaling that prey, so he's scaling the bait. And on the second run, we want to wind out. If we wind on the second run, then we're going to hook that fish up. All we have to do is turn the handle, and it'll disengage the light drag at the back, which is And that's why I use the bait runner, because it clicks over really quickly, and that's what you need. Yeah, yeah it clicks over really fast, and you've got heavy drag for a small reel, so that'll do the job quite well. Cool. Yeah. Adam's just explaining how, if it's going to hit, this is what he's going to say, what you need to do. Okay, here we go. No worries. So if you get a tap on the rod, that's normally the first take. We want the reel to scream very light line, which is when your bait runner's engaged, yep. for you know two or three or four seconds. You can even let them go for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna click the handle aggressively, which will activate your front drag, like so. Click us down, light drag, turn the handle, heavy drag. Straight away, that's gonna set the hook in the barrel. He's gonna come out the water, do his thing. Happy days. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. <laughs> you got no head? Oops, that's a shark. 
Buddy. Oh, Sarah. No. Go on. No, it's so What do you got, Sarah? Why is he so heavy? Catfish. Look at that. Daddy. Another name, Silver Cobbler. Some people say they're good eating. Uh, but what do you I, think? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a little touch, but that's about it, man. There we go, there we go. Yeah? Ah, it's like, it's like a complete opposite. Yeah, there you go. Something. It's something to put in there. Definitely something. Oh, 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 Alongside us here. We're going to try and clear this other one. Is that over there? Go for it now. Go for it now. Go for it now. Go for it Still more people in the other shot. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, so basically you can get them up to three plus meters. Yeah. Uh, they are a man eater when they get obviously and they're kind of two meters. And Probably in rivers more responsible than killing more people than anything. There's ones in Queensland that male people in the canals. Get a little bugger, there he is. So would the, the mother have had to come up here to lay the babies or they would come in and follow the uh, Not quite sure. I don't know whether they'd be out in the bay or something like that. Um, possibly breeding, but um, yeah, we'll send him on his way. There he goes. Right. Say bye bye. Dang. Catch you later. Go on. Yeah. Got no hookers. No. We just had a hit after a couple of hours, <laughs> and uh, Adam just told me that it definitely was a barrel because scale. You see, has been crushed to mouth. It just missed the hook a little bit, and so the barrel sucks it in and it spits it that's out. That's the luck of the game. Far around. Just race back in because uh, we got to go and catch a plane. So, but Adam, uh, thanks very much, mate, for uh, looking after us. Anyone uh, that wants to head the broom and have a barramundi fish, or a threadfin fish, or up the creek fish, or deep sea fishing, Adam's your man. Uh, we've been on a few charters, and uh, Adam is probably the best guy that I know that uh, is knowledgeable, knows the area. It'll save you a shitload of time. So, get down, get onto Adam, which is WA. Barramundi Fishing Charters. So Adam, thanks a lot buddy. Not a problem mate, anytime. Always take More care. Welcome. Sarah, thank you love thank for you helping. For Been such a gem. Sarah's facts. Yeah? Yes, Sarah's all right Jay, you ready? All right. Yeah. all right guys, till next time, over and out. <laughs> Raymond's on. <laughs> Finally. This one here is a little dog. He's gonna go 
right back with his mama, his papa, his cousins. Well, I don't know, I just gotta make that. Is that a good show? Woo!